Okay, then sometimes the reason why you, you get a misfire in the morning, misfire in the morning could be you excess carbon in, uh, on the intake valves. And this is a sign of uh, carbon mix. See, this car needs a decarbonation. See that? This is from, it could be from bad gas. Okay. See that? So you gotta scrape all this, scrape it with a razor blade or whatever. Get all this thing off until you get it to metal, down to the metal. See how much it's thick. This will give a misfire in the morning when the car's cold. Okay? Check engine light on, blinking and then going away after getting hot. Most likely you need a decoy. I'm gonna show you the valve with a scope. Let's show you the valves inside, okay? So give me one second. I don't know if you can appreciate it that as much with the with the scope. See if you can see the carbon in there. See how much carbon he has? A lot of carbon. Wow. Okay, this is the before. I'm gonna show you how I do the decarbonation, but I'm gonna show you with a tablet instead. Flashlight. Maybe you could appreciate it a little better. See how much carbon in there? That's a lot of carbon. See that? All of them, look at that. Okay. I'm gonna show you the machine that I use and how I do it to get those valves clean. And you're gonna see the before and after. You won't believe it. Okay, first thing first, let's scrape um, the carbon of the valves as much as we can. Let's get as much as we can out of those valves. I know it's tough to see, but I'm holding the tablet, that's why, at the same time. Just do it gently. Get as much carbon as you can. Okay, and to clean the valves, we'll use this walnut, walnut machine, that's a model. It gives you all the warnings on the side. Warnings. Let me show you what's inside. There's the walnuts. See that? It's like, look like sand. Very thin sand. What it does is that thing will shoot out and clean the valves. Go ahead and cap it, put the top on. Okay, put the other side on. Okay, it's closing here. Okay, it gets connected to power and the shop here. Right here. Make sure you cover everything, like all you put the housing, air inlet there, injectors, injector housing there, breathe the valve, you don't want none of that to get stuck. And make sure, guys, very important, make sure that all the pistons are to top the center. In this case, everything is top the center, so I don't have to turn the, the damper at the bottom, the crank. In the event the valves are open, you gotta bring them up, okay? And as you clean the valves, you wanna put blue tape, and the one that is clean. So when you're cleaning this one, the one not doesn't get into this one, okay? So what it, how it works is like this. Okay, put this thing over, like this. And then you shoot through here, okay? This is the one. Okay, so basically, this is the way it goes, right there. Okay, right there it goes. See? And then through this opening. See? You hit the gun here. And this is gonna suck out the water by pressure through here. Okay? And then that's gonna clean the valves, okay? 